Nation Guide Process Chief 18 with another FIFA 13 Astorilla career mode. And we start off the episode, we had a manager contract from Norway, but uh, I'm not going to, even it, Norway wouldn't tempt me at all, but I'm not going to obviously, like I said, another episode. Anyway, we go straight into the action with a match against Reading at the bottom of the table. And this was such a hard game, I do not know why. White with a sloppy slip there, and Lefondre is there to tap it in. I mean, that was such an awful clearance, he just missed the ball completely, and it was an easy finish there for Reading. But this was such a hard game, especially them being bottom of the table. For Aston Villa, we were just it was so difficult. But here straight away, Hooper does a nice through ball to Agbon Lahore, who taps it in with his right right foot hit the post and that was so unlucky not to go in there. But anyway, we have possession again and this time defeated to Hooper who has a shot parried into the past the post. Unlucky not to score there again, and Bannon is with the corner, puts it in and Reading get rid of the ball. Um, this time, Reading on the attack with a bit of kind of obsession changing hands. Again, they break through our defence. Just tackles, Vla tackles it into the path of a Reading player and he taps it in. I think Karakan scores there. What a Karakan goal. How the pun. No, that, that was awful. Ignore me there. But anyway, that was quite a bad uh, goal to be honest. I mean, Vla would just put it right into their path. I mean, what you can't do much about that. Anyway. <clears throat> this time, Bent is on the attack, being fed from Agbon the Hall. Gets a lovely cross in there, ready to get rid of it, but um, <coughs> uh, Dyer's on the edge of the box there, and he has a lovely finish with his weaker foot on the outside of the box. I believe that's his first goal for the club since his signing. Lovely finish there outside the box, and we're right back in just after Reading scored. It's now 2-1, right back in the game. But this is such a hard match. Anyway, this is how the first half ended, 2-1 to Reading pretty poor at the moment, it's bottom of the table, bear in mind we're pushing for Euro League spaces here, but anyway we start the second half and um, this time Reading on the attack, just breaking our defence apart, our defence has gone walkabouts and this time, I'm not sure who that is, I think they, um, I can't see who he is, he went, goes close there, but this time we're on the attack, Lehigh feeds it into Albrighton, who gets lucky with the tackle there, has a shot and Ben taps it into an open goal, lovely finish there. In a tight situation, I don't know why Old Brighton. Old Brighton should have really crossed it, but he has a shot and it goes, goes in, which is always good. <laughs> and it is now 2-2. We have the comeback is complete, but can we go for another goal? Hooper feeds it into Enzobi, who breaks away from the defence and has a shot against a near post. And it, what a finish that was! 83rd minute, we are 3-2 up from 2-0 down. Could anything be better? I was ex so happy at this moment in time. Near post shots are so overpowered. I mean, that nearly hit the post, but I mean, the keeper wasn't going to stop that. It was a cannon of a shot, and it goes in. But Reading here with the attack, but we get rid of it eventually, ish, maybe. No, we don't. And a shot that really should have gone in by Paul Gremionak there goes narrowly wide. But that's how the match ended 3 2. A great comeback win. Our first win in a few matches now. I think five or six matches. We've ended our drawing streak. But that was a good win um, away to Reading. Anyway, we jump into the next match against QPR, I think. Oh, Liverpool maybe, I'm sorry. Against Liverpool. Um, <coughs> and um, this was a hard game as well. I remember early in the season, I think they beat us 1-0. I'm not quite sure. But they, they just ripped my defence apart here. Getting some lovely 1-2 passes there. And again, on an attack, Suarez this time feeds it into Rubinho. And he gets oh, some great tackles there. Uh, to deny him his goal. They get across him, but we get rid of it eventually. This time, Gerald, 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 Gerald on the outside of the box has a weaving run, and he just he's finished it. A lovely finish that was a two. It was he was we were never going to block that, especially Gerald's form on this game. He's just crazy. But Gerald, remember, scored against us last time with a similar kind of weaving run. But anyway, we're one nil down, 45th minute, right at the end of the half, and that I believe is how the first hand ended. Yes, it is one nil to Liverpool. Not really great at home to Villa Park, at Villa Park, really. You see, we have more possession, but we haven't had any shots on target yet. So, um, I go attacking, as you can see in the bottom right. Just because I, I really need the points now. And there's Obia this time on the left wing. Cuts back inside and gets quite a nice crossing, actually. And Hooper is there. Gets deflected back outside. But Hooper this time's here. Bent with a turn and a lovely finish in the top corner. Two touches in the back of the net. He just puts his laces through it here, you see Hooper feeds it into Bent, just takes it around his body and wham, 
in the back of the net. I think that's his 11th or 12th goal of the season. He's really in some good form now. But that's how the match ended, sadly. One apiece. Not much happened in that match, to be honest. One apiece is how it ended. Uh, but it's good It's good to get the draw anyway. Um, we get another management offer for international management, which I do reject, obviously. New Zealand are a great side. But our final match of the episode against Stoke City, um, away at the Britannia. Uh, you remember last game we played them, we played beat them 4-1 I believe it was a really really easy match actually after they scored for the halfway belter by Ben but anyway this is uh, Hooper this time feeds it into Nzobia who has a block sh a shot block really unlucky there he hit it straight at the keeper though which was a bit of a shame but that's how the first half ended that was the only bit of action in that first half not a lot happened and it's nil nil sadly but um, it all lights up in the second half, which is good, after a really dismal first half, same as the last match, actually. This time, Bent feeds it into Hooper, who breaks away from the defence. A bit of a sweat there, and all Brighton is there to finish in the close-range shot. A bit of a sweaty goal there, you don't need to see that. Just cover your eyes if you don't want to see it, because not everyone likes sweaty goals. But to be honest, I want to do well in this league, and a sweaty goal is... I don't mind, to be honest. It's my career mode, not yours. So, <laughs> hopefully you are enjoying this. Because I do put a lot of time and effort into editing these videos and getting them out for you guys. So leave a comment on what you enjoy and what if you want me to like lengthen or shorten the videos. You want me more matches or less matches. Just because I want to know. Because I want to know what you want to see. And obviously it isn't for my benefit. It's for your benefit. Because you want to watch these videos. And I just enjoy making them. So, but um, you see there, Stoke go close. But this time we're breaking away with Hooper with some of his pacey runs that he manages to pull off. Here he gets, he's getting tugged on but he has a lovely shot into the far post. Uh, two quick fire goals there, really. Lovely finish by Hooper. Bit of an arm wave. Um, I think that's maybe his eighth goal of the season, so he's also firing on quite a lot of cylinders at the moment. He's getting a few goals. Some quite uh, vital goals, actually. That goal was quite vital to get, uh, secure our winning position, to be honest. And you see, yeah, he puts in a good tackle as well. He's quite a good multitasker. But this time, Zobia has it. Um, was that Zobia? Yeah, Zobia has a chance to go ahead there, but a good save by Sorensen. And uh, Bannon gets the cross in, and it is cleared by Stoke City there, unluckily. And then this time Bannon goes close with a free kick, uh, Sorensen puts it over. <coughs> and lucky not to go in there, again he, him with the corner here, and Stoke get rid of it, it goes for a goal kick. And lucky not to go ahead here, not a repeat of last time we played them anyway, but Vla this time up for some reason, um, and has a shot that's blocked there. And Stoke with a long throw into the box this time, what they're famed for. Crouch goes close, but it's hit straight at the keeper and not troubling given there. And that's how the match ended, 2-0 to Aston Villa. A good win under the belt, we're starting to get some form back again after our a bit uh, odd form earlier this in the season. Anyway, that is it for the episode. This should be going up on Wednesday the 26th on Boxing Day. Thanks for watching, guys. I do put a lot of effort into these. If you could leave a like, it really helps me and Edward make videos for you. So EOG wishes you a very Merry Christmas. Please like, favourite and subscribe. And until next time, peace.